In this video, we're going to be writing the equation of a quadratic given a graph, and we'll be writing them in vertex form to begin with. So the first thing we need to do to write it in vertex form is identify the vertex itself. So this vertex right here is at uh, 3, negative 1. So 3, negative 1 for the vertex. So this is H, this is K. I get that from the graph right here, 3, negative 1. Once I have that, then I can start working on the form itself. So here is the way it needs to look when I'm done. So all I need is this A value right here. So here's how we always find that. We always go from the vertex, 1 in the x direction. So to right here, that's 1 in the x direction. And then see how many you go in the y direction. So that's 1 right there. So it's 1 away in the x direction always. However many it is away in the y direction, that's your a value. So this is positive 1 away. This is positive 1 right here. So the a value then is going to be 1. Had it been negative 1, I would put a negative 1 there. Had it been 2 away like this, I would put a 2 right there. So whatever however far away in the y direction you go after moving one away in the x, that gives you the a value. So the a value is 1. So y equals 1, x subtract 3 quantity squared minus 1. So this is always opposite right here. This is exact right there. The a value is 1. Technically, we don't have to write it, but for effect, we'll put it there. All right, now we have a second example. We were asked to write it in vertex form. So first we identify the vertex. The vertex here is 4, 3. So you read that right off the graph, 4, 3. So that means that's H, that is K. Now we need to find the A value. So to find the A value, we always go one away in the X direction. So this is one away. Technically, it doesn't matter which direction. I usually go to the right but one away in the x direction and then see how many away in the y direction. From here, it's down one, so it's negative one in the y direction. So my a value is negative one. So now I can write it. I have everything I need. y equals a is negative one. x subtract four, because h is positive four. I need a negative four here. Quantity squared, and then plus three. And this is the form again, y equals a, x minus h, quantity squared plus k. So all we need is a, h, and k. And the vertex gives us h and k. The uh, stretch factor is determined by the process that we just went through. So let's look at another example. Okay, last example. Write an equation in vertex and standard form from the graph. So we identify the vertex first. Vertex is right here. It is negative 3 comma negative 4. That's this value uh, right here. So that's H and K. Now we need, we know that H comma K is negative 3, negative 4. So we know that. Now we need the A value. So we always go one away in the X direction, so to right here, and then see how many away in the Y direction hits the graph. So it's 1, 2 away, positive 2 away. So that means the A value is positive 2. So now I have everything I need. So writing from a graph is pretty straightforward. You get the vertex, you get the A value, you write it. So our form for vertex form is this. So we fill in the information. We know that A is positive 2. We know that H is negative 3, so I need a plus 3 right here. K is negative 4, so I write exactly negative 4 there. So that is standard form. Now we need vertex, uh, that is vertex form, we need standard form. So y equals 2, x plus 3, we're going to square that quantity. So write it times itself, subtract 4. Now we FOIL this out. So we get y equals 2 times x squared plus 3x plus 3x plus 9, subtract 4. Make sure you write this in parentheses so that you remember to then distribute this value in. So we have to distribute this into all of them. I could do some simplifying first. I'm, I'm not going to, but you could. So y equals 2x squared plus 6x plus 6x plus 18. 
now we can drop the parentheses and write this negative 4 out here. So gather your like terms. Those two go together, and these two go together. So final answer, next step, y equals 2x squared, 6x plus 6x is 12x, so plus 12x. 18 minus 4 is going to be 14, so plus 14. So here is this graph in standard form, and this was the graph in the function in vertex form.